should have done that. All right? Yeah. Uh, rest up. I lived in Bristol all my life and uh, I paint graph and do murals for a living. When I first started writing graffiti properly, I'd say I was 17. I used to like, I don't know, just walking around my area around Eastville and I used to see like a lot of the older generation of graffiti writers putting their name up in blazing letters and with awesome characters and I just thought, yeah, I want to do that. Daniel Tyndall, 21. Uh, I used to write dot com. It started as an accident. I got given a marker pen, and it's a slightly addictive path from then. Wanted to see a name up and everything. I'm Mr. Moss. I'm 17. Being, uh, I've lived in Bristol all my life. I, I write, I've been writing graffiti since I was about 13. Yeah, I mean, I was looking at the older generation and for them it was all about style. You know, it was, all, it was more about the art, to be honest with you. Whereas now it's more about quantity, it's about getting your name up as, as often as possible. It's almost as if, you know, they, they make up for their lack of skill with quantity. Like tags do generally bring an area down. When there's just a wall full of them, you don't really see it, you just see like a dirty mess on the wall. There's a lot of difference between like doing a big piece and then just tagging your name on something. The problem with a lot of tagging is it's not really very artistic um, and it tends to be, I don't know, it's more like vandalism. I mean, sometimes you go somewhere like real beautiful, like you walk up the Christmas steps or something and it's beautiful up there. It's all like old buildings, but it's covered in tags and it's just, I don't know, it's not nice. If you're not a toy, you'll be dedicated to it. Like, you actually, people will know who you are you'll get respect from other writers. It's a bit like, it's just the difference between generosity and selfishness. You, you know, tagging is essentially quite a selfish thing. Anything that we do in the public domain has to be considered. And tagging in general speaks only to other taggers and for the mass of the public is, is perceived as something generally negative. If people saw a weak tag back then, you'd get chased down the street. So they'd call you a toy, they'd laugh at you. But a lot of the time, just scrolling your name on someone's wheelie bin or something, it's just, it's not cool. 